Hi, good morning. It is good to be with you again. And today I have a little bit of like um, a cold, so my, you know, my voice is kind of gone. But uh, if you would just excuse that, um, and um, that'd be great. Today we're going to look at uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Genesis 3, verse 8. Genesis 3 verse 8 reads, Then the man and his wife heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the breeze of the day, and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Now, the thing that uh, I want to point out is that there are consequences of sin. Many, many consequences of sin. When Adam and Eve sinned against God, things changed within them, and things changed on the outside as well. First, as a result of sin, they died spiritually, and they were separated from God. That's what spiritual death means, separation from God. And as a result of the separation from God, all kinds of problems came into their lives and through their lives and into the world. So all the problems and evil that we see here on earth is a result of sin. So let me just share with you some, uh, some personal reasons um, for Adam and Eve and mankind um, that, that caused, the that sin caused. Um, <clears> the <throat> first, like we said, they were separated from God, and as a result of that, they lost their sense of identity. And when they lost their sense of identity, identity in Christ, identity in um, being created in the image of God and the heavenly and he our heavenly Father being our Father, that loss of identity resulted in insecurity. And shame and which in turn that caused them to live in isolation and fear and further on down the line into Genesis we see all kinds of other sins that uh, that bore fruit because of their separation from God <clears throat> and so this is a situation for mankind without God a godless society, a godless world, has, has lost its identity, is filled with shame, insecurity, is isolated and live in fear. This, this is a horrific, a terrible circumstance situation of the human race. But thanks be to God, 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came from heaven to earth as the Lord of glory, in a humble way he came, and he came to restore all things, the Bible says. In Colossians chapter 1, verse 19 to 21, it says, For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. So it was basically Jesus was God, the eternal God, who came into the world as a human being. And through him, Jesus Christ to reconcile to himself, God the Father, all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of Jesus Christ. And that P word peace, the reason why there needed to be peace is because, once again, se sin separated us, us from God and caused us to be enemies of God. So when Jesus came and he died and he shed his blood, that blood gave us peace with God. And then continuing on, it says, And you who were once alienated because of sin, hostile, again, the enmity we had before God, in mind and doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you, you holy and blameless and above all, above reproach before him 
So the Lord Jesus Christ, through his death and his resurrection, reconciled us, made us one with God in peace, no more hostility, no more enmity or enemies of God, but friends of God, children of God. And the way in which he, he did this through the cross and he restored everything, everything that was lost in the garden, Jesus Christ restored to us the identity. He took away the shame. He gave us security that's been found in him. He took us, uh, brought us out of darkness and isolation and removed the fear and brought us into the household of God. And that's our inheritance for us. The only thing that we need to do is to believe, to repent, to turn to God and believe. This is what Acts chapter 3 verse, 10, verse 19 says, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So the Lord may wipe away all our sins and bring us refreshing and bring us back to God and restore all things. So that is your inheritance. That's my inheritance in the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed today. May you walk in His love and His grace and His restoration. God bless you. Have a wonderful Tuesday and the rest of the week. God bless you. Amen.